Hey, welcome you guys. So continuing on with my state fair series, we're gonna do a fake corn dog. So we'll start out with our foam clay. And so just condition your clay. And then we're gonna roll this into a log. And then I wanna smooth out all of the creases and things like that. We want this to be nice and smooth as far as that part goes. So I have a skewer here. I'm gonna just break it in half. I don't need this whole length. So I'll just stick that in one end there. Now we just need to, I wanna make a bite out of this one. So I'm just gonna, this is just a mitten <laughs> um, cookie cutter. You can use any, like a heart or a circle, anything that has that rounded edge. This is just what I had handy. So I'm just gonna use that to make the bite out of it. And then I'm just gonna press in these edges because we don't want those to be so drastic. Okay, so First, I'm gonna texture the outside of this. So I'm gonna use a toothbrush and I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna press in kind of hard because this doesn't like to, this foam clay doesn't like to hold the texture that much. And these corn dogs are pretty textury. So I wanna make sure I get a nice texture on there. Now for the open part, I'm gonna take my toothbrush and texture that as well. And then we're gonna add some other texture to that also. So for the hot dog part, I'm gonna use my, I'm gonna take this out so I can show you easier. <laughs> um, for the hot dog part, I'm gonna take an X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna make the circle inside there. And then I'm gonna take my X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna give this some more texture. And you can kind of make it a little like swirly looking. You may have to keep going around the circle part just to keep it defined as you're texturing these things. And then for the corn, um, the corn part, we're just gonna pick at this with our X-Acto knife. You can also do this with a toothpick if you don't have an X-Acto knife. So just kind of pick, pick, pick until it gets that kind of crumbly looking texture. And then again, you may have to go back in and define that hot dog part just to keep it separated. So for the hot dog part, I made hot dog before. I can't remember the color combo. I used so I'm gonna start over from scratch here and <laughs> just make it up again so I'm gonna try some pink eraser and some classic caramel I did about equal parts of those two so let's mix that up and see how it looks It's too pink, so I'm going to add some more of my classic caramel. It's looking better, but um, still a little too pink. I think I'm going to add a drop of yellow in here. That looks pretty good. So I'm also gonna add a little touch of Mod Podge because you know the hot dog has a little bit of glossiness to it, so I want it to look realistic. 
Okay, so just paint your hot dog part. And then for the corn part here, I'm going to use antique white. And then just a touch of yellow. And then just brush that on. We're just going around the hot dog and it doesn't matter if you get it all the way to the edge. Um, we're going to be shading that with the darker color anyway, so you don't have to be too perfect with that. And then for the outside, we're going to do my usual mixture, which is territorial beige. yellow and these are all equal parts so I'm just doing a couple drops of each color and then harvest orange so we want to dry brush this outside part so I'm just going to get a lot of the paint off of my brush and then I'm just going to go lightly over You want to make sure all those little crevices are filled in. Don't leave any white parts. And then around the edge here, we want to just get along that line there. We, we want a little bit of the brown showing on the top. And there's your fake corn dog. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video.